So we're going to get into chapter three in the textbook. And I got that open right here. I have the PDF version. You can, of course, use the online version as well. And I got my NetBeans open here on the left. Going to need a new project for this. So we're going to go file a new project. And you should already have the last one selected automatically by now. And I'm going to call this chapter three. Uh, I forgot what I called the other one. I'll just call it chapter three. That's good enough. Uh, and I'll put it, of course, in my NetBeans projects folder. I'm putting everything there. Oh, I call my last one chapter two code. Okay, that's all right. As long as it says chapter three in it, it's okay. Uh, now I want to be able to view both of these at the same time. And if you're on Windows, one way to do that, you can drag to the edge and then it snaps right there. And then you can click on your other window and it will snap to the other side. And if you need to adjust the sizes, you can you can drag them across here. Uh, I don't need the bookmarks here, because I'm just going to go scroll. I don't need to jump around these sections here. So I'm going to close these bookmarks. That'll give me a little more room and zoom in a little bit. All right, and to zoom in on NetBeans, you do uh, hold down Alt and scroll. And that lets you change the text size. All right, so you know, if I want to do this system out print, where do I put it? So hopefully by now you know everything for now goes inside a public static void main, all your code. So we'll go ahead and drop that in there. And I'm going to hit F6 to run it. And there we go. The result we got. Now it's not exactly the same. Uh, it's a different number. Uh, now what does this mean? Uh, the java.io tells you where it comes from. The object's a print stream. This at uh, is basically tells you where in memory it's stored. None, this number is not important whatsoever, and really none of this is that important for us right now. Um, so I strongly encourage you to read along. There's only 15 pages in this chapter, and we're going to go ahead and look at the scanner class here. Uh, they give an example right here of a program. Now, if I just copy this whole thing, it has everything I need from the import to, uh, that they mentioned up here to the public class. So I'm going to copy this whole thing. There is one thing missing, however, uh, and that is the there's no package in here uh, in the code on the right. So I'm going to leave in this package, and I'm just going to replace everything here. Uh, now I need to format it, so I'm going to highlight all. Control A, and then we're gonna. Where are we at? Somewhere in here. It's Alt Shift F is what I want to do. There we go. Source format Alt Shift F. That tabs everything over nicely. And there is one error. All right. So what's the error? Well, this public class needs to be named after the file, which is Chapter Three Java. If I hit Undo a couple times, you'll see the old public class is Chapter Three. So I'm going to undo as control Z, redo as control Y. I'm going to hit control Y twice. And all I need to do is rename this chapter three. Uh, and then this should run just fine. Uh, you don't need to break these lines across multiple lines. All right, remember when you add a string to something else. We got a string on the left here. When we add a string to something else, it concatenates, which means it just basically glues them together. And now uh, I'm going to save this and F6 run. All right. Now this uh, actually had some input here. So we have to go down here. I know it says output, but this is actually the console. It's both for output and for input. And it says type something. The reason it says type something, we had a print statement right here. And what's the next line of code on 20? right here in what is in if I highlight in in is a scanner which is described here and it lets you take input and what we're going to do is use the method called next line and so we're going to type something uh, type it so it says you said type something type something else 42 you also said 42 so this just repeats back whatever we type in uh, let's mess around a little bit, and I'm going to duplicate this last line right here, which is Alt uh, or Control Shift down that duplicates it, and 
I want to remember both things the user typed in. So I'm going to go call one of these line one, and I'm going to make another string variable called line two. And then line one is going to be our first input. Line two is going to be our second input. You can see these yellow highlights moving around. And then my first input, I want to go line or first print statement, I change it to line one. My second uh, print statement, I'm changing to line two. And then my final print statement, I want to put both of them together. So I'm going to add line one and line two together, uh, which will just attach them. And sometimes you may want to insert an extra space in between. Of course, it all depends on what you type. Uh, so let's go ahead and run this now. I'm going to have to type in two things. So we'll go first things first. So it echoes back what I typed in first from that uh, print statement on line 21 when it prints out line one. And then it's going to print out after that line, the, the string in line two. And then my last one is going to put them both together and concatenate them together. All right, so that should get you through the first uh, part of this chapter.